as I will soon be launching my premium signal channel for futures, sports, leverage tokens, DeFi tokens, and other priority info on the next best move to make to maximize your profits in crypto. I thought it wise to create videos to help subscribers to follow up with my signals. In this video, we are going to look at how to buy and sell tokens on DeFi platforms. Another name for this is swapping. The first step is to choose a compatible wallet. There are different wallets. The two most popular include Trust Wallet, Metamax. There are others. Both are available in your phone app store. I use Trust Wallet on my phone and Metamax on PC. For the purpose of this tutorial, we are going to use Trust Wallet. I already created a dummy Trust Wallet for this tutorial. If you want to know how to create a Trust Wallet, I have a video on this. Watch the video popping up now and create one for yourself. After setting up your wallet, the next thing will be to find out on which chain or network is the token you want to swap is built on. There are different kinds of networks such as Smart Chain for Binance tokens, Ethereum for ERC20 tokens, Matic and many others. For the purpose of this tutorial, we are going to use iFi token. iFi token is built on Binance Smart Chain, the first one. How did I know this? There are many places to find this. One of these places, if the coin is listed, is to go to the coin market cap and search for the token iFi. Here, if you check under contracts, you would see Binance Smart Chain. Another place is through the company's website or in their social media when they drop the information about this token. The next step would be to fund your wallet. Binance chain tokens need BNB. Ethereum tokens need Ethereum. Matic tokens need Matic. TRC20 tokens need Tron and so on and so forth. Since iFi token is based on smart chain, we need the first one, BNB, Binance coin. In your trust wallet, you might see this BNB if it is turned on and then the smart chain BNB. You want to make sure that you are sending the BNB using BEP20 network so that it does not enter in the BNB but in the smart chain BNB. So click on receive or click on smart chain whichever. When you click on receive, for instance, click on smart chain, copy the address, this address and head over to your Binance account or to any exchange that can send token using BEP20 network. In your exchange, look for withdrawal. So in Binance, I'm gonna go to wallet and click on withdraw. I wanna withdraw BNB, that is send BNB to this wallet. In address, when you paste in your address, you want to make sure that the network says BEP20, BLC, right? Network. Remember what I taught you about networks. If it were to be Ethereum, then you have to use ERC20, right? Um, then go ahead and do your withdrawal. So, after you have done this, you will have your BNB showing here. In this wallet I created for this tutorial, I have BNB worth $5.4. This BNB is 0 0.011645 BNB, right? To interact with any smart contract, you have to get the contract address, abbreviated as CA. Some of the places where you could find this contract address will be on the coin market cap if the token is listed or the company's website or social media, like I explained previously or you could simply google the contract address this is not recommended because you could copy the wrong one and send your money to a scammer let's 
get the iFi tokens contract address because iFi token has been listed on CoinMarketCap. We will head over to CoinMarketCap, search for iFi, and come to this place where it says contracts. And you will see the network or the chain is Binance Smart Chain. And you will see this address, copy it. That is the contract address. When you have the contract address, the next question will be, on which platform can I swap this token? For Binance Smart Chain tokens, you have PancakeSwap, PoolCoin, and so many others. For Ethereum tokens, you have Uniswap, SushiSwap, and so many others. Because we are making an example with iFi token that is based on Binance Smart Chain, I'm going to show you how to buy iFi token using PancakeSwap and PoolCoin. And that is what we are going to do in the step C, which is the actual swapping. And you can swap your token by going through the DAP browser section of your Trust Wallet or Metamax. Your DAP section in Trust Wallet is located at the bottom. If you are using iOS, unfortunately, this feature is not available. You need to use Metamask. But for Android users, you don't have any problem. So click on DAPS. You want to visit PancakeSwap website. Of course, you could scroll through these apps and locate PancakeSwap and click on it. You are in. Alternatively, you could type in PancakeSwap.finance if you know the exact URL and then send it by clicking on done at the bottom right. The next thing you have to do is to make sure you are on the right chain. If you see Ethereum is selected by default, but this is on Binance Smart Chain. So change it to Smart Chain. Go ahead and connect your wallet by clicking on connect. Select Trust Wallet. Now your wallet is connected. You want to visit the exchange or the swap session of this. Click on the menu bar and go to thread. Click on exchange. How you will know that your wallet is connected is when you go to the exchange or the swap section of the pancake swap, you will see your BNB balance showing, right? The next thing to do is to paste in the contract address of the coin you want to swap. Remember, we have already copied the iFi tokens contract address from CoinMarketCap. I'm doing this again. Click on this currency sign and there will be a field. Paste in the contract address into the search name or paste address. You see, it recognizes its iFi. Click on import. I understand import now you are ready to buy this token next begin to type in the from section the amount of bmb you want to invest in this token i will just type 0, 0.0 now i want to make this important point you always need bmb in your trust wallet to do transactions on smart chain networks just as you will need ethereum to do transactions on ethereum chain platforms do not use up all your bnb in buying any token so i am buying ifi watch 0.001 bnb so it's showing me that i would receive something like this minimum received then click on swap Confirm, approve. Let me put in my pin. So you see now under iFi, I now have some iFi token and my BNB has reduced. So I have bought iFi token. The amount I got was 0 0.0214881. I can understand that because iFi token price 
is $21.42 per token. I just put in around a dollar or less or so. Now let's go back to our Trust Wallet token balance. Click on the X sign at the left top and click on Wallet. As you can see, my BNB has reduced to 4.61 because it has bought a token. Before we go over to showing you how to sell and how to use PooCoin, the next thing I want to quickly show is how to display the coin you have bought in your Trust Wallet. You will be able to do this by adding that token to your Trust Wallet using the contract address. As you can see, the iFi token is not being displayed in the wallet section of my Trust Wallet. To add this token, click on the short two horizontal lines at the right stop of your Trust Wallet. In the Search Tokens bar, paste in the contract address of the token. If the token pops up like iFi did, just turn it on. Then go back to the wallet page. You see the iFi token shows here now. Adding the iFi token was very easy because the token is already well tracked across platforms. But there might be situations where you will not have it easy. And this is the case when a token is new. For instance, the Panda Inu token from Eta Connect. Let's practicalize that. This is an extra. Let's try adding Panda Inu token. When you go here, I have already copied the contract address of Panda Inu. So let me paste it there. You will see what it tells you. No assets found. In this case, you need to click on Add Custom Token. Panda Inu is based on Binance Smart Chain. So change this Ethereum on the network, change it to Smart Chain, and paste the contract address here. Now, put in the name of this token. You can find this from the token site or ask your mentor. The symbol, the same, you find it out from the company site or ask. And then the decimal is 8. Done. You see, it is showing if you go to your wallet, you see, if I had bought Panda Inu now, or if I withdraw Panda Inu from any platform, it will show here. All right, because I have added it. Let's wrap up this video now by showing you how to sell your token. It is basically the same way, just doing it in the reverse order. In this case, we are going to do this using PooCoin, another platform where you can buy and sell, that is swap your tokens. But before we go there, let me show you what you would have done if you wanted to use PancakeSwap to sell your token. Click on dApps like we did. You could click on any of the pancake swaps history here. Like, let me click on this. Go to the thread, exchange. In this case, you want to do the reverse, the opposite. So BNB should be under, and the token you are selling should be above. To change this, click in the tiny arrow in the middle, and it will switch. BNB is under now. Find the token you want to sell. It's already added here. But if you don't see it there, just paste in the contract address again. It pops up. Click on it. Now you want to decide if you want to swap some of it or all of it. I want to swap everything. So I click on Max. Enable. And approve your swap, right? Like I promised, I want to show you another place you could go to swap your tokens. And um, I consider it the best one. I always use it. Um, this is the PooCoin.app site. PooCoin has more features 
for tokens without price on trust wallet like no tokens you will see the price on pool also you will see the charts and it is also easy to buy and sell your tokens to access pool coin stay through your dap section type in pool coin poolcoin.app let's click on done click on connect now notice a problem if you look on the top you will see ethereum smart chain is selected by default click on it and change it to smart chain connect next paste in the contract address of the token you want to swap you see it recognizes it click on it to swap this token click on this thread you are seeing here there are two threads here this one on top don't click on this one in the menus click the one in the middle here this one thread you see bmb is on top i5 is in the bottom now change it by clicking in the middle so that i5 is on top click on max because i want to sell everything and click on approve i5 click on swap so you see i'm paying transaction fees 0 0.79 small small transaction fees let me put in my pin to approve you see i5 is 0 bmb is 0 0.00981 so that's basically that i hope this video was helpful i will make more videos bordering on the activities you will be engaged with in my premium signal forum thanks for watching bye for now